I've been selling print on demand since 2017 and made multi-million dollar sales, but I never claimed to be a good designer. That's because I didn't let my lack of design skills hold me back. And in today's video, I wanna show you how I was able to create successful designs using a simple text-based approach based on current bestsellers today. So we're gonna be looking at Etsy and Amazon for clues into what design styles customers prefer. Then I'm gonna show you how to create them step-by-step step by just following along. And the aim is to get this done in 10 minutes or less. So let's start with this listing here on Etsy. Now this is a simple custom text t-shirt. You can find a bunch of these listings on, on Etsy. So it's a little bit harder to rank on a listing when it's super generic. Hey, your custom text. The real takeaway though is that we can now create these alternating color text designs in Kittle, where each letter can be a different color. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a second. Uh, this listing alone though, is doing about 10 sales a month. And what I love most about it is because it offers the customization, it's got a 12% conversion rate. So you could easily hook up a Hello Custom to Printify and offer these designs and do extremely well. Uh, beyond that, here from Merch Dominator, looking at best sellers in the back to school niche, I found this design, it's got a 16,000 BSR. And if you actually look at it on Amazon, they tell you right here that it's sold over a thousand shirts in the last month. So this is a bestseller. And I wonder when it's first available because it doesn't have too many reviews. Yeah, this shirt's only a year old. That's insane. And here's one more in the back to school niche, which is probably the number one trend right now on Amazon for t-shirts. Uh, it has a current BSR of 62,000 and it's priced up, so they're making more profit here on this third grade vibe shirt, uh, priced at $19.99. It's got a kind of alternating uh, pink and mauve colors. So let's jump into Kittle. I wanna show you how to do this because it wasn't possible just one month ago to do. Now for my artboard size, I'm gonna go with, uh, you can either click t-shirt or you can click the print on demand tab. And specifically, if you sell on like Amazon Merch, you can click uh, Amazon Merch there and then hit create and it'll match the dimensions for you. Now, one easy way to get started is to simply click the text tab over there on the left-hand side and just add some text. Now, what I like to do is I'll go down here to where it says like title pairs and hit show all. And I'm just gonna kind of browse through some of the most popular, most used fonts here in Kittle. And honestly, I like this one up here. Just a big, bold, easy to read font, guys. It doesn't need to be something uh, too complicated. Now, this is a font pairing. I actually only want one of these, so I'm gonna delete the other. This font, if you're wondering, is called Bebas New, okay? B-E-B-A-S space N-E-U-E. -E. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make it big and bold, okay? I'm gonna make it as big as I can there, keep it centered. And then what I'm gonna do is click into it, select just the B, and I'm gonna change the color, but we do need a color scheme as well. So check this out. I'm gonna jump back over here to Etsy and I'm gonna just zoom in on this color scheme and I'm gonna borrow it for inspiration purposes. I'm gonna go ahead and screenshot that. By the way, I use an app called LightShot. It's completely free. That allows me to screenshot like you just saw. It also lets me highlight things easily for this video. <laughs> if you've ever seen me do that and wondered how I do it, go grab the LightShot extension installed in your computer. Anyways, I'm gonna paste the screenshot right here. Now I'm gonna select the B again. I'm gonna go over here on the right-hand side where it says text color. I'm gonna click into that. And then I'm gonna click the eyedropper tool and I'm gonna hover over the first color brown right there. And you see when I click it, the B turns brown. Next up, the E, I'm gonna select it, do the same thing, eyedropper, make it yellow. The A, same thing, eyedropper, make it red. The U, you guessed it, eyedropper, green. And then I'm just gonna alternate the same uh, color pattern, similar to how we see it being used here. Uh, in the screenshot from Etsy. So it really, guys, doesn't need to be much more uh, much more complicated than this. Look how simple that was. Now, I have a choice. I can either duplicate this, and you don't have to do this. You could make it one line of text, but here's another pro tip, guys. I love when I fill the available uh, space for a design. So you see here, just by me duplicating it a few times, I've occupied more space. It almost feels like a subliminal thing where the customer might feel like they're getting a little bit more bang for their buck because the design and the word and the repetition, I don't know, it just sets in a little bit easier. But I was thinking you could also alternate the colors so that it's not just one line and every letter is the same color. So check that out. I just took a few minutes to change the color of each letter. The only drawback of doing this, guys, if I'm being completely honest, as I like to be, is that it's a little bit confusing. Like when I take a glance at this design, 
it's a little bit scattered and my brain doesn't immediately know that the word beauty is what I'm looking at because of the altering of the colors. So if I'm being honest, I don't prefer this. I just wanted to show you that it's possible and I wanted to give it a shot. Hey, we're learning together. But if you're taking notes and following along, this is not my preference. I much prefer to delete these and do what we had before where we duplicate the same uh, color style because I think it's gonna be a little bit easier for people to read and the customers make decisions in split seconds. So this could make a world of difference when it comes to your ultimate uh, sales at the end of the day. The next design I wanted to look into was just alternating different colored pieces of text. So now it's not the same word alternating. It could be different words on their own line in different colors. So here's one example from Etsy. Uh, according to Everbee, doing about 13 sales a month, a uh, total of 575 sales, which is great for a t-shirt on Etsy. Conversion rate, 5.66%. So uh, are they offering customization? Yeah, they are, but you see how the conversion rate is about half that of the previous shirt that we looked at because this shirt is just saying, hey, any text is fine. Whereas this one's saying, no, we're gonna do it in the style of word, ampersand, word, ampersand, word, ampersand. So a little bit more boxed in, in terms of what's possible and that's reflected in the conversion rate. Uh, this next one here from Etsy, doing 20 sales a month according to Everbee. And again, you can just put custom text. They'll alternate it for you line by line in different colors. And here's another similar design from Merch Dominator that's thriving on Amazon, current BSR 83,000. So they're doing about a sale a day, if not more, with a price point of 19.99. So very healthy uh, profits generated per sale as well. And it's in the second grade niche. I actually really like that kind of pastel light color scheme. So we might draw some inspiration from that. Let's jump back into Kittle on the sidebar where it says text. I'm going to click there and then I'm going to look at the vintage font pairings. You don't have to go this way guys, but I've pre-planned this video. I already know what I'm looking for. So I'm going to basically shortcut us. I'm going to click where it says no vein, uh, this font pairing. I'm going to delete the smaller pieces of text because I don't need them. And this no vein word is using the font Cal Sans. Okay. And I'm going to go and align it in the top, right? make it bigger, perfect. Now, if you guys weren't aware, check this out next to me where it says text shadow. That is how they've accomplished this. They set each letter to the font color white and then they're adding the outline using a block shadow. And what I essentially wanna do, well, we said we'd draw some inspiration here from this design, so let's do it again. Let's kind of grab this, bring it over to Kittle for us. This way we can access those colors really easily. And I'm going to, I don't even need to select it actually. I just need to change the text shadow color here. So I'm gonna go ahead, use the eyedropper and select that pink. Or you know what I could do is actually mimic how they've got that design. Um, I'm not actually gonna copy this second grade design. So I'm just using inspiration from the color scheme. So instead of making the outline that color, what if we actually match the outline to that darker, almost like reddish pink color. And then we can change the text color right here to the same text color that they've got inside of their letters. Boom, just like that. Now I can easily duplicate this, bring it down, keep it aligned, and I'm gonna go ahead, do basically the same thing where I change the text color, except now I'm gonna go to the second row, match that orange, and I'm gonna, well, I don't have to change the text shadow color because they actually keep it consistent. So let's duplicate it again. Now we're gonna aim to match that yellow. So we just need to change the text color. Eyedropper, boom, yellow. Okay, duplicate again, bring it down, change the text color, match the green. Pretty cool, pretty easy. Hopefully you guys are seeing that like, we're able to get this done in just minutes, okay? And you have the ability to, well, there's a lot of ways to make changes actually. I wanna show you one of my favorite ways that is unique to Kittle as far as I know of uh, making this your own in one click. <laughs> I'm gonna show you that as soon as we wrap up here with matching the colors. Okay, it looks like they just bring it back to that original pink at the bottom there. Boom, check that out. So now we've got this rainbow text inspired by a bestseller from Amazon. That is completely optional to you whether you wanna go that route or not. But I think this looks amazing and those pastel colors really speak to, um, in my mind, like a younger customer or maybe not customer, but at least a younger person wearing the shirt or using this on print on demand products. Uh, it could definitely be older people as well. But I wanted to show you guys up here, project colors, okay? Kittle allows you to browse project colors and then you simply mouse over these color palettes and it applies 
new color palettes to everything that you just designed. Look how easy this is. And if I like one, all I have to do is click once. For instance, I love these earth tones, boom. There was one more really easy to execute text style that I wanted to show you that this bestseller with a 30,000 BSR, so it's easily generating multiple sales a day is using. You can see it's got the cat, it says bruh, 700 sales in the last month. Absolutely love that, that's a dream. So let's jump back over to Kittle. I'm gonna go ahead and delete a bunch of this text. We only need one. Uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and screenshot this just so we get the color scheme, bring it over. Where do we go? Right here. Okay, I'm gonna paste it there. So what I'm going to do first is I'm gonna remove the text shadow. So I'm just gonna click the minus sign and remove the text shadow. Then where it says text decoration, I'm gonna to click to expand that. And what we need to do is essentially click where it says color cut. Okay, it's the second one from the left. Now we need to apply our color scheme. So I'm gonna click where it's gray and I'm gonna use the color dropper and select that yellow from our reference material. And then up here for the text color, you guessed it, click in there, eyedropper and select that uh, red. What went wrong there? Hold up, let's do that again. Color dropper, select the red, boom, there we go. So check it out guys. I went through Kittle's pre-made elements, did a quick search for the word cat. I removed the background, then I clicked and vectorized it if something's not vectorized, guys, by the way, you just select it, and then over here on the sidebar, it'll let you vectorize it in one click. So very simple. Uh, once it's vectorized, you can go ahead and go back to the color palettes and kind of preview what it might look like if you apply a different color palette. You don't have to do this, but I just wanted to show you guys how quick and easily it can be done again. I think this design looks great. I do like the idea of using color palettes because if you've got too many colors, it tends not to translate into a winning design. You don't want things to be too busy. So using their color palettes is a nice way of avoiding that. Just saying that from experience and hey, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Get into Kittle, have some fun. If you're not already using it, use my link below to get started, guys. I hope you found this helpful. Get out there, make some winning designs and I'll see you at the next video.